Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video I will be showing you guys how I make this DIY face shield in order for my clients to cover their face whenever I take pictures of their hair after I do it. So if you're interested, definitely keep watching. So the first thing I did, I ordered this mask or shield off of Amazon. It's called a Hair Barber Salon Mask and it was really cheap. It was like $5. So I'll leave the link in the description. And then I did get this neutral color from Joanne, I believe is what the store is called. And I just wanted to get something not too light and not too dark just because I didn't want to take away from the hair at all. I feel like if I would have gotten like a red or a purple or something crazy, that's what you're going to look at instead of the hair. So that's why I picked just like a neutral color, like a skin type, skin tone color. And the person at the store did say that if you sandpaper the plastic, the paint will hold better. So I used a nail file and I filed the plastic down pretty much all of it just so that the paint would last longer but if you think about it that makes sense because when you get your nails done they do file or buff down your nails and the gel polish lasts longer so that was smart of him to tell me and then I did paint it four times and I let it fully dry in between so I painted it once in the morning and then I let it all day to dry and then I would paint it in the afternoon and I would leave it all night and then same thing for the next day and so just because I wanted it to have like enough coats where like you could actually tell. And then once I thought that was good, it was time to put the rhinestones all the way around and I used this E6000 glue tweezers and then the rhinestones, I did get them from Joanne too. But honestly, if you're looking for some, just order them off of Amazon because they're way cheaper. I just didn't know what they were called. I kept searching jewels and gems and I didn't realize that they were called rhinestones until I saw them in the store and then I picked them up. And so I did start by dipping the rhinestones into the glue and then putting them on the mask. But then I realized that was taking way too long and so I just used the glue and I put it on the outside of the mask, like the perimeter, and then I would just put the jewels on that instead of dipping them first, and that was way easier and way faster. So I definitely recommend doing it that way. And I'm only going to be using this if the client doesn't want their face in it because a lot of clients they honestly don't mind but there are a lot of clients that do mind so it's just gonna be for like I'm gonna ask them like do you mind if your face is in it and if they say like oh just cover it up or put an emoji or something on it I'm just gonna say oh well just can you hold this for me and then that way they feel like oh perfect like my face isn't gonna be in it at all and so that's why I wanted it so that I could record everything that I wanted to without them feeling like I'm like in their face recording their face so here's just some of my clients that I've done hair like some of their hair transformations that I've done and I'm just using the mask because they wanted to cover their face so So it was honestly super simple, it didn't take me long to do, I just needed all of those supplies. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel to see my future videos, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching, bye!